I knew she was going to hit me. So in one swift move, I turned and moved aside. So fast, I felt like I was in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Hi everyone, I'm Gwen. Please like and subscribe to know how I got to this moment of my life. Growing up, I was pretty popular in my school since I was the tallest kid in class, but it was a bit awkward for me. You see, I was in an all-girls school, and I was like Jungkook from BTS, good at everything. Volleyball, art, playing a tree in a school play, you name it, I could do it. My competition, Mandy, was just as popular, but I could tell she had it in for me. I get it, she was probably jealous. I mean, I didn't ask to be the tallest kid in class, but I had to admit, it was kind of cool. All that changed the summer I turned 14, though. You see, before that, everyone around me were the short ones, and I felt like Gulliver, you know, the tall guy in the land of tiny people. But now, suddenly, I was the tiny one, surrounded by an <laughs> army of giants. Is it just me, or is everyone extremely tall? Yeah, everyone had their growth spurt, except you. Not the tallest and most beautiful anymore, huh, Gwen? I waited a year for a growth spurt, but nope. My genes said nope. Mandy was now not just the meanest person in school, but also became the queen bee. And the worst part, Mandy had become even meaner and never missed a chance to taunt me. As time passed, I was more mad at myself for letting Mandy treat me that way. I had to learn to defend myself. I tried boxing and Krav Maga, but I wasn't good at either. Then I found Taekwondo, and it was way better. I competed and won competitions, and my Taekwondo instructor even hired me as a part-time trainer. Mandy was all always causing trouble at school. She was always in my face, and I was getting so tired of it. One day, I finally had enough and decided to do something about it when Mandy just took my bag and thought it belonged in the trash. <laughs> oh, Mandy, what are we gonna do with you? You're like a fly that just won't go away. You don't want me to hurt you. <laughs> what are you gonna do, tickle me? <laughs> Nuh-uh, I'm gonna beat your butt, and you'll be sorry. So stay away from me, got it? Good. She mm -hmm. tried to run away, but ended up crashing into the trash can and screamed in pain. Ouch! It's not like it hurts bad or anything, but ouch, 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 ouch! Mandy stayed far away from me after that. Not sure if it was fear or embarrassment, but she kept on bothering other kids at school. And they often came to me, and I'd call out Mandy for being a jerk right to her face. While people thought I was a total badass because of my strength, I still felt lonely because I didn't have a BFF or Bay. I swear, the dudes from other schools stayed 10 miles away from me, probably thinking I'd beat their butts if I said hi. But then one day, my world stopped when I spotted the cutest guy ever. He was running, while well, limping, with balloons in his hands. He had the most beautiful and contagious smile, making the kids smile immediately as well. When he walked away, I noticed him flinching a little, and I immediately ran up to help him. He politely refused at first, but finally agreed. Thanks. I, uh, had a small biking accident recently. That's why I have a small little limp. It should be fine soon. Well, I hope so, because I'd like to meet you again sometime. What did I just say? <laughs> I would like that too. Thanks. We swapped numbers, and I met Cole again. We've been talking nonstop since then. He told me he loves gardening and said I'm like a delicate petal, and I kind of liked it. I know I should tell him that I'm not as delicate as I seem, but I was enjoying this kind of attention. It was different. So let me give you a small summary of who Cole was. Cole had moved abroad with his parents as a kid for health reasons, but once he got better, he made it his mission to live life to the fullest. He went on backpacking trips, rode the wildest theme park rides, and even tried skydiving. You know, my parents get worried because I'm still weaker than others and I still get sick easily, but I want to push myself, you know? I don't want this to stop me. Cole planned awesome trips for us every other week, from trekking to biking on rocky roads and going on all the rides at the amusement park. He was like an annoying friend, too always making lame dad jokes. We have to be careful. Someone here is possessed by an owl. Possessed by an owl? Who? Why do I even hang out with you? Because you like me. And also, I'm like the most fun person ever. Well, he wasn't completely wrong. He was fun, and I also did like him. And I'm pretty sure he knows that. Did you see how red I turned when he said that? Ugh. One time, Cole and I went to the shooting range at a new theme park. He helped me out and even won me a stuffed toy. But when we got to the boxing machine, he didn't do very well, and suddenly, a a group of boys around him started giggling. What was wrong with them? I, uh, I'll get some ice cream. Once he was gone, I looked at the punk kids who laughed at him and showed them what I got. Next time you guys decide to make someone feel bad about themselves, remember, if I catch you, this will be your face. Just as I saw Cole coming back, I hurried to him, pretending I hadn't just given those jerks a piece of my mind. Oh, hey, you're back. 
Come on, let's try something else. This boxing machine is a waste of time. I couldn't even move it. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Want to try the Ferris wheel? Come on. Um, all right. Sh sure. So, here's the deal. I might have a teeny tiny fear of heights. As the Ferris wheel moved, Cole kept talking, and I took deep breaths. But when we reached the top, I went pale as a ghost and held on to Cole tight. Ouch. Are you all right, Gwen? Yeah. Uh, I'm fine. What? Oh, wait. Are you terrified of heights? No. Just fear of machines that'll take you high off the ground? I mean, what if that one screw pops off and we roll into town? <laughs> We won't. I'm here with you. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Gwen, I was wondering, will, will you go out with me? What? Like a date? Like a date. Like you being my girlfriend. Even though it was a cliche place to ask someone out, it was perfect for me. That day, I vowed never to let Cole know I was stronger than him. I liked the way his face lit up when he did even the smallest things for me. Like, I'd act like I couldn't open a jar of pickles, and he'd come and save the day. Or when we'd go hiking, I'd pretend to be out of breath, when really it was him struggling struggling to breathe. I loved it. One time at school, I heard some noise from an alley, and I saw Mandy picking on a kid. Looks like I'll have to teach her a lesson again, huh? So you bully even young middle schoolers, huh, Mandy? That's just sad. Gwen, back away slowly and pretend you never saw this. But I did. You know I don't like bullies, so step away from the kid and be on your way. Oh, so you're good at giving advice, huh? Then why don't you tell me how to win the lottery while you're at it? <laughs> really? No, like seriously, girl. That's the best comeback you could ever make? And you girls follow her like minions? You'll pay for this. Saying that, Mandy came at me like a raging bull, but I moved to the side just in time, and she ended up falling into a bunch of cardboard boxes. Grabbing the kid's hand, I walked away while Mandy kept giving me death glares, but I didn't care. Sometimes I used to wonder what made her such a meanie. I remembered in kindergarten she wasn't like this, but I was too busy being happy to think about it. I had a bae who was also my BFF, and I felt like the luckiest girl alive. One day, Cole invited me over to his place for a movie night and even introduced me to his parents. They were amazing and made me feel welcomed into their home. Everything was going good one second, and the next, it turned upside down when a girl walked in, leaving my jaw on the floor. Gwen, uh, meet my younger sister Mandy. This was like a nightmare come to life. Not for me, but for Mandy. Of course, she was the school bully, not me. Her expression was worth framing. Oh yeah, I know her. She's in my school. Pretty famous, too. Oh, yes. Mandy and I were like each other's competition. <laughs> All healthy, though. Right, Mandy? Want to know what was more shocking than finding out Mandy was Cole's sister? Knowing there was a nice side to her all along. She acted all nice and sweet in front of her family, and I was honestly shocked. What the fudge? When Cole excused himself to the washroom and her parents went to get dessert, Mandy turned to me. Listen, don't you dare mention anything in front of them, or you will see hell. Ah, there she she is. I thought she were someone else. And FYI, asking for favors shouldn't sound like a threat. So why don't you ask me again, properly this time? Really? What if I tell Cole about your skills? You know, he doesn't like when people take pity on him because he's weak. He kept blabbering about his new girlfriend being a delicate flower and all. You delicate? <laughs> Let's... Let's make a deal. Both of us shut up and don't bother anyone else ever. You know your secret is bigger than mine. It was the riskiest deal. I was going to use this to my advantage. Mandy became nicer to me. Well, pretended every time I went over. And to be honest, I liked that side of her. She seemed so likable at home. But then again, only when her parents were around. It was obvious she did not like Cole. She would be sarcastic to him every time he spoke to her. She wouldn't even initiate any conversation with him either. We were pretty close as kids. But when when I was abroad because of my sickness, my parents moved with me and Mandy was left behind with my grandparents for some time. Over the years, she stopped talking to me and she seemed different. I keep trying to talk to her, but now it feels like there's no point. For the first time ever, I felt bad for Mandy. Maybe this is why she was like this, but it still didn't excuse her bad behavior. I knew I had to try and talk to Mandy. She was literally getting worse by the day at school and I was genuinely worried for her. So I confronted her one day. Listen, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Are you upset with your family? Uh, I have four things to tell you. None of your business. Got it? Now shoo. Mandy, I'm just... He's upset. You should talk to your brother. Uh, great. More people on his side. Just 
stay out of it, okay? Well, I knew Cole cared for Mandy, so I started keeping an eye on her so she didn't cause trouble at school, like she always did. And you know what? She didn't like it one bit. Oh, don't worry, I wasn't mean to her. I just got in her way every opportunity I got. I would stop her from cutting the line, would be there when she was about to pull a prank on someone, and whenever Mandy was about to do something mean, I gave her the brightest smile and she'd glare at me and leave. This went on for weeks, but one day when I visited Cole's place for a Harry Potter movie marathon, Mandy was there too. Apparently, she was a Potterhead too. Huh. Ugh, Draco. Such a bully. I just don't like people like him. Oh, I I agree. <laughs> you agree? You? Yes, Mandy. I don't like violence either. Just because you're stronger, it doesn't mean you can pick on the weaker ones. Oh, that's just... You hypocrite. Hey, what about people who are liars? Like you, Gwen. Care to tell my brother about your reality? Shut up. I'll tell you. Your precious little girlfriend is quite the fighter herself. And stronger. She just feels sorry for you and acts all fragile in front of you. Because you're so weak and thin and enough. Don't you dare talk to him like that, you witch. Saying that, I lunged at Mandy. And in seconds, we were both fighting like wrestlers. It was when Cole yelled that we snapped out of it. I can't believe this. When? Why would you hide anything from me? You didn't need to. And Mandy, what happened to you? How did you become this bitter person? I'm so disappointed in you. Hearing his words, Mandy snapped. Who the heck are you to be disappointed in me? Stop acting almighty. Oh, life's beautiful. Appreciate every bit of it. Blah, blah. Shut it. You've ruined my entire life. None of you cared for me or how I was doing here all alone. Everything's about you. And you, Gwen, like my life wasn't fantastic at home already, you took everything from me at school and even dated him. Just as Mandy was about to storm out of the room, Cole did something unexpected. He hugged her. He hugged his sister tight. And at first, Mandy resisted, but then she <laughs> eased. I never knew you felt this way. I'm so sorry, Mandy. Calm down. As Cole and his parents talked to Mandy, I sadly backed away. I knew it was their private moment and I didn't want to intrude, but I couldn't help feeling like Cole might not want to see me again now that he knew the truth. But to my surprise, a couple of days later as I was practicing Taekwondo, someone walked in. It was Mandy. Uh, hi. What are you doing here? Please don't take up Taekwondo. <laughs> um, no, I won't. I was just here to talk to you. Gwen? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry, Gwen. Oh, I didn't mean to be so loud. I realize my problems, and I'm so ashamed because of the way I was. But I'm trying to work on myself, and I guess all thanks to you. It's all right. I'm glad you realized things. And there's someone here who wants to actually take up Taekwondo. Just then, Cole walked in with his adorable smile, and I felt butterflies in my stomach. So, you're not mad at me for not telling you sooner about everything? You know, I was just worried that you would run away, or... Run away? I think I fell more in love with you. So, you don't have a problem with me being the stronger one? <laughs> no, I'm more pleased that I have someone who can protect me. <laughs> most badass martial arts fighter is my girlfriend, so don't mess with me. Who else can say that? <laughs>